Oh man, I hope you guys have been doing great. I hope you had a beautiful holiday and a wonderful new year. Maybe some family time, some vacation time, time off work, whatever the heck you wanted. I hope you got it. Um, I had a great time. We were in New York for almost two weeks. It was amazing. I went a little bit later than my husband and the kids because Rock Not holiday sales were like, you know, insanity and um, prepping the final videos for style language and all that stuff. So I couldn't get away quite as early, but it was amazing and much needed. And I'm very happy to be back, back in the swing of things. So today's DIY I think is gonna be super helpful. So this is what we're gonna do. We are gonna take jeans that are too big on us, either ones you already own or intentionally go and thrift them. And we are going to open them on the sides and rewrap them around our bodies to be custom fit to our beautiful bodies. Whatever fit, shape, proportions that you wanna do, you can do. So I found these jeans. This is from a little thrift haul that I was doing for TikTok. And this is how they fit. They were probably about two to three sizes too big on me. A little too big to even wear as boyfriend jeans because they were falling off, so I would have to belt them, which is not really the vibe I like for boyfriend jeans. What if I did that sort of intentional reconstructed look where it's like overlapped on the sides? That's great for me because I am not great with tailoring jeans very well. Like I don't like to remove all the details and fix it and then add the waistband back on. Like that's way too much legit work for me. I like a little DIY version of it. So that's what we're gonna do. And it turned out so good. I am obsessed with them and it's really fun. Okay, I'm gonna shut up so we can start. Alrighty, so here are the jeans. We just got a seam rip open these bad boys, both legs on the outside only. Now the way that you seam rip it is really just gonna depend on the type of jeans you have and what the seam is like. I got really lucky and I ended up with one of those pairs that has like the navy blue stripe inside and it's just one stitch, which meant that I could take the little red ball, put it inside and just zzzzip all the way up my leg, which is so satisfying. Saves a lot of time and once I got to the pocket is where I really had to take my time because that's where there were overlock seams, there were pockets stitched together, multiple layers of denim. So I would say that that last like five inches took me about 10 minutes. But you can see I've got it fully open all the way to the waistband. Now I'm just cutting the waistband. Remember, I am not trying to make this look like these jeans were this size. I'm intentionally showing the split. So you're just gonna use your scissors to cut it. Once they are open, you're gonna press the seams open as well. So you wanna remove any of the threads and you wanna get your jeans clean and fresh so you're dealing with two fresh side seams. That way, when we actually wrap them around our body, we know what it's gonna look like. We don't have any curly Q edges that are gonna mess with it. I am wearing yoga pants just so I can do this in front of you, but I would not do that. Make sure that you're wearing nothing underneath so you're getting the most accurate fit so it's properly tight. I ended up needing to make mine a little tighter after I took off the yoga pants and tried them on. So first thing you wanna do is just pop a, a pin just to hold them in place. This is not the right location, but you can't really do anything until they're on your hips. So once I had a right pin and a left pin, now I'm starting to kind of adjust the waist, figuring out like how tight do I want them? How high waisted do I actually want them? Once you do one side, sort of look at the other, match it, make sure that they're even. This is basically the trial and error. This is the design process. You are gonna start pinning and tightening the areas that you want tighter and then the areas that you want looser. Add in as many pins as you need in order to really perfect the fit. This is just literally pull it tight, pin it, look in the mirror. Ooh, that's a little bit looser, I want that a little bit tighter, let me fold that over a little bit more. You get to tweak this to the specifics of your body, which means that you get to highlight all the parts of your body that you want. This is such an awesome way of making a pair of jeans that are perfectly flattering for you. So I continued to do this and went all the way down. I actually decided to leave the bottom like, I go a little lower than that, but like the bottom, I don't know, six inches of the jeans opened because I liked the way they kind of curled in. I don't know, I thought it was super flattering. Now we're gonna sew. So basically what I'll do is I'll zigzag the waistband because that's a raw edge. But here I can just do a simple straight stitch because again, I'm using the exposed seam, that like dark blue, I don't know what it is, like the selvage edge or whatever. I'm gonna call it trim from here on out. I'm using white thread first. So I'm skipping the waistband and I'm just starting right at the pocket and stitching down. I am very carefully staying right within that white line of the trim so that it just disappears. I'm gonna stitch, you can see, right down, constantly checking that I'm not accidentally sewing two layers together. I'm putting my hands inside the jeans to make sure that everything is flat. When you're doing a pant leg like this, you just wanna go as far as you can, and once it starts to feel difficult, which was right there for me, I basically flipped it upside down and went from the bottom up. 
it's really important that you don't tweak them too much as you're sewing because you want the like natural slope that you created to maintain itself when you sew it because you did it perfectly on your body. So you don't want to like wretch it too much. You kind of want to make sure it feels nice and soft and smooth. So I went from the bottom up and then that side was done. Now again, I moved to the other side, white stitch, just from the pocket down, leaving the waistband. And then I went from the bottom up. Now I am going to switch to a blue thread. Now that I have a blue thread, not only am I gonna stitch the left-hand side of that trim, but I also can do the waistband because it's gonna match. So first things first, I did a straight stitch down the waistband. Now, there's one thing that I wish I had thought to do. It was a little bit of a mistake and I had to go back and fix it. You really wanna cut out as much like denim meat from the waistband as you can. It's gonna make the sewing process over the waistband a lot easier. You can see I'm really struggling. I broke a needle. I had to like skip little sections. So if you can cut a little meat out of the waistband, it'll just be easier for you to sew. So I went straight from the waistband on a straight stitch right down to the left-hand side of this little trim. That way now I know it's fully secure. I've got one stitch on the right, one stitch on the left. It's not gonna unravel. It's gonna be held well. Now I go back in and I zigzag over the waistband. Again, this is the only area that's a raw edge. And so I don't want it to keep on like keep fraying on me. So I'm just zigzagging right over it so that it's like kind of smooth and flat. And I'm doing it in a blue that matches the trim. Now here's all the excess. That's how much I took out of the waist and the hips. So you just need to cut that off now, basically. So flip them inside out. You can see all of the excess. Obviously, you know where to cut because it's hanging off of the jeans. And I would recommend cutting about a, I don't know, like a half an inch, a quarter of an inch seam allowance so that you have room to zigzag because we don't want this again to completely fray. So we're going to zigzag it off. So again, just pull the excess, cut it, a little bit of seam allowance, and then you are going to zigzag. Once you zigzag, you're done, you guys. This is the very last step. You're gonna zigzag them, that way they're not gonna fray. You can press them one more time, but we're done. I cannot wait to show you what these look like on. They are my perfect, like somewhere between a slouchy boyfriend and a high-waisted tight. They're so comfortable, but they're still kind of like, mm. Mm, I can't wait to show you. Okay, I'm gonna model them for you guys. Remember the Style Language online course is open for enrollment right now. We're gonna start as a group on the 20th. So enrollment is open. It is such an amazing course. There are 13 big fat modules, tons of styling videos, tons of tips, all the info you need. There's gonna be live Zoom sessions where you guys can ask questions, all sorts of great stuff. Um, and I gotta tell you, my style language is what dictates how I DIY everything. And so if you guys are DIYers, it'll be super helpful for you. Okay. Let's model.